And now they are here in the grand final. Wakefield Trinity and Featherstone Rovers. And it'll be Trinity to kick off. Garen Casey, who's about to leave Trinity to play Super League with Salford Reds next season, but he says not before he's sorted out the matter of winning the grand final. And Featherstone, despite the fact that they've won 2-1 in Division 1 meetings with Wakefield this season, know that they've really got to contain this big Wakefield Trinity side if they're going to... As Kenworthy it is who makes ground with that penalty. Neil Lowe... Chico Jackson with the tackle. Good strong defence, but Kenworthy on the run around. Opportunity here. Adam Hughes. Hughes is tackled. Southernwood darts on his on his own. Bostock is there. This big strong winger, but he's well marshalled by the Featherstone defence. But problems here for Featherstone as Southernwood, Southernwood, I think, tries to burrow over. In goal, touch judges there. Nicotti awards the try. And Roy Southernwood strikes an early blow for Wakefield Trinity. A tip for guys into the tackle just to make sure that man's put to ground. They were pumped. Andy Kelly just uh, relaying instructions down to the bench. Kelly picked up a uh, ban from the touchline earlier in the season after a bit of a run in with a uh, steward as Casey misses with the conversion attempt but Southernwood's try has put Wakefield Trinity into a 4-0 lead it really will be tough for his side against the physical superiority of this Wakefield pack well a massive shot then from Josh Bostock settled one of the Featherstone players firmly on these uh, on his backside and Carl Hall it was and Carl Hall's no way Kenworthy Casey trying to burst through the Featherstone defence just does enough. Coventry and Neil Lowe that time. Wackerau does well to field that one. Here's Matt Fuller, the Wakefield captain, going across the field. Now Adam Hughes. Hughes slips out of one tackle. Still going, Hughes. Featherstone can't afford to miss tackles like that. Fuller. Fuller out to Bostock. Bostock has the strength. He's in at the corner, Josh Bostock. And from that range, he really is deadly. And Matt Fuller, a simple pass, and Bostock had the strength to power through the tackle. The ball moving across. Fuller, who sets the initial play up, he shifted the ball wide. And Hughes, classy X leads three quarter. Another big, strong player. Drags the floor, quick play the ball, and Fuller again, eyes open, heads up, and Bostock, one on one, out of my way, and he's over the whitewash, never going to be stopped from that range. We said in the pre-match the pre -match preamble that Wakefield were by far the bigger and more powerful side. That's been evident right from the whistle. They just grand final last year. Garen Casey has grand final experience as well. Steve Sims won't be impressed with this start from his side. Casey, 113 goals so far this season. This just about bang on the touchline, but again, he's pulled it across the face of the posts, but Wakefield lead by eight points, shoving the Wakefield players out of the way. Fallins, Coventry, the ball went backwards, says the referee, and Fallins picks it up, but Featherstone have lost ground. Chapman hoists the kick, but it goes straight up in the air. And then Wakefield stand and watch. It's loose. Baker is on to the ball in a flash. And the referee consults his official and awards the try. Well, that was really opportunist thinking from Danny Baker because it looked as though that kick was good. Look, he's all about preparation and opportunity. And uh, Baker was certainly on hand. Not the best kick in the world. Featherstone beginning to panic. And well, the ball's per many one from four here. It's hit about three or four hands. And Baker on hand, looking sharp, looking keen. And that was a great try to get them back into this game. Not the best kick from Chapman. 
But Featherstone Rovers putting the pressure on there, forcing the error. And the man on hand, Johnny on the spot. Chapman missed with uh, his first attempt, a long-range penalty. What can he do with this one? That looks very promising. Great kick from Chapman, and suddenly Featherstone come alive. It's wasted. Pratt knock it forward. But the try was... Southernwood, Hughes, Hughes who's caused trouble in the centres so far this evening. Kenworthy looking to use his pace, instead brings Casey onto the ball. Casey puts the kick in, this is one for the chase, but Pratt always had the speed. Wackerau was chasing, but Carl Pratt... Martin Law, Wackerau, Kenworthy... The Featherstone defence drifts across. Fuller again changes direction. Casey. Gary Lord gets the ball away. Casey. Casey flips it over the top. Bostock. Can he get in for his second? He does. Josh Bostock again uses his strength and his reach to get over that try line. Garen Casey give those posts uh, a good eyeball. They really haven't been cooperating so far. This another tricky kick. He struck that one well, but he's pushed it across the face of the posts again. And Wakefield lead by 12 points to six. Fallins shuts off the ch challenge, and here goes Carl Hall. Hall fancies a run at Bostock. Bostock missed the tackle, but it was Casey who came back. Well, not for the first time in this game, Carl Hall not fancying his own pace, not uh, playing with the greatest of confidence, looking for the inside, and Featherston maybe need to bring the ball to their left. Chapman, chance here maybe. The interception, oh, Fuller lot, got a hand to it, and couldn't hold on to it, but there is the half-time hooter.